Anakin, Rex, prepare all forces. We're jumping to hyperspace immediately. Yes, sir. Men, with me! So the attack on Mandalore was approved? No, it's Coruscant. Grievous has attacked the capital. Prepare for attack! <laughs> Hey guys, it's General Grievous here with the Factual Clone Wars, and today we're going to be talking about on this explained video, Grievous is a hero in the Clone Wars and in Revenge of the Sith. And we're going to be diving into the horror cool facts as you just seen that clip. But as you already know, Grievous is a hero in Star Wars The Clone Wars, and that's always been proven as a fact. And we're going to be diving into this new fact from the recent Star Wars The Clone Wars episodes from the Siege of Mandalore. And the reason why we're going to be talking about this is because in the intro of the episode, we see Grievous here with his body upgrade. But, but... The thing is, we keep seeing, and then they say, as you've seen the clip before, that Grievous Hero captures Palpatine. They said, the city is under attack, and blah, 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 Grievous is attacking the city. So basically that means Grievous Hero is fighting Shock T, like they said, and blah, 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 blah. And he's fighting them on the ground, almost like the 2003 series, but not the same Grievous, which basically leads up to Revenge of the Sith, making that Grievous a hero. Now, when I say making the revenge of the Sith Grievous a hero, this does not mean Grievous is a hero in all of the other Legends material. Grievous is a hero in Star Wars, the Clone Wars, and the canon material and the stuff that connects with him to leads up to revenge of the Sith. That guy is a hero that means he's dead. He's a hero that sadly died. But that does not mean the Legends Grievous from the films and the other stuff is good. That Legends Grievous is still a villain because he still does the genocide and the stuff that the Jedi do. So there, that fits with that. So basically what I'm getting at is you have two basically versions of the Revenge of the Sith Grievous. You have the Revenge of the Sith Grievous that's the hero that connects with the Clone Wars and then you have the Revenge of the Sith that's the um, Grievous that connects with the Legends Evil One. So that's basically you're how you have to have, have how you're going to have to look at Revenge of the Sith is because of that now. So basically you're going to have to think of either if you're watching it for Grievous Hero or you're watching it from the Legends from the old original evil villain concept instead of the heroic Grievous Hero now. So I hope you guys understand that that's what Grievous Hero is doing in Season 7 of The Clone Wars. And like I said... You know, that's what he's doing. That's what now the facts because of Grievous being a hero in the Clone Wars that he's capturing Palpatine that's leading up to the Battle of Coruscant. So that makes the Revenge of the Sith Grievous a hero as well. Sorry, I cannot change this. This is the facts that they're pushing and we have to follow the facts. So anyway, that's all General Grievous here of the factual Clone Wars has to say. And you already know his famous real quote. I've been looking forward to meeting you. And now I'm a hero in Revenge of the Sith. Hmm. Have a good day, yo.